Yo, what's going on, 60 Cent Lender Squad? I am playing Guan Yu today for no reason other than I want to. No reason other than I just feel like it. Sometimes that's all you got to do in life. Just do something you feel like doing. I'm going to go um, blink here because I'm not up immune from his ult on my three anyways. And I think, well, meditation is good. I mean, he is going to get anti-heal. I have healing as in my one and it's pretty obnoxious amount of healing too if I'm completely honest so more than likely he's gonna go anti-heal already so I guess maybe it's okay that I didn't go meditation at the gate here there's a mannequins All right, that was a lot of damage coming out. You know what I could have done actually was I probably got, I probably could have gone Sunder and I actually would have killed right there with my three. That's something you can do in the solo lane. If you ever play Guan Yu in solo, if you, um, if you Sunder and then three, it pretty much hundreds of zeros anyone. And then if it doesn't hundreds of zero them, good news, you got a second charge of Sunder that you can use with your next three to finish the job. <laughs> All right. Go back. I'll grab my tier two thing in Bob and Kallus. Do I want to get runic or do I just want to go straight into Ansile? I really want to go runic here because I, I don't think Ansile is that good against soul. I don't really care about the damage you do. Not right now, at least. I got my health chalice. I got some defense. I got uh, some decent anti-heal. I'm actually really surprised he's backing right there. Would have been a, a really great play if he went for my buff. But I am going to back too. My mana is quite the issue. I think I'll go Transcendence next. Just to help with my mana issue. About to get his Hecate online. Again, I don't really care about what damage he's dealing. Um, I want to do that buff, but let's freak him out. The reason I think freaking him out right there is a good idea by blinking in on him. It's not because I'm going to get the kill, but what it does is it pushes him back far enough to where I have the freedom to get this buff with pretty much just auto attacks. And then I still have enough mana to use abilities on, um, on the wave. But I don't actually lose anything. So I, I just basically, I just use my blink to secure farm. Which I think is okay in the early game. I think it's okay in the early game. Let's go trans now. Throw a couple mana pots because I feel like I need them. My alt really isn't going to be doing a whole lot this game. Because, uh, I mean, obviously soul 3 is very strong. To say the least. I do want this red. I assume you want it too. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're uh, you're actually dead as heck. Wow, I got super tanky. I just stood in all of his abilities. I stood in his two, his three, his alt, and just sat there for his auto attacks and walked away with over a thousand HP still. That's insane. His healing did actually scare me a little bit there though. Just keep farming. There's no need to be dramatic about anything here. Ooh, I want that though. Oh, I missed. Well, I didn't miss, but I mistimed. Pretty sure he went to his uh, his blue buff there. I'm not leveling my heal just yet because I don't think it's necessary. I think right now the uh, the tankiness from lowering his power and having both of these items give me give me tankiness. I think that's more than enough to keep me alive for now, so I can focus more on my damaging abilities as well as building into some damage now. Now. I'm curious to see what his next item is. Looking like a mid guard. Not a big deal. I don't mind the mid guard. Um, I'm slightly ahead. It's really not like a big lead. Well, I guess, I guess I am two levels, huh? Let's go get that transcendence online. And I, I think it's it's pretty obvious that he doesn't scare me in terms of the damage he's outputting right now, considering the fact that I just walked through his tower for five auto or for five tower shots while he was hitting me the entire time, so mm, I don't know what my second relic should be just yet. Honestly, if he doesn't go any anti-heal, a meditation does sound pretty good. But if he does go anti-heal, then I might just go thorns. Because he's not going to have magic defense. He's got an emperor's armor, which is just super weird. But I guess, you know, it helps if, uh, if your idea is to just stand in her tower and do damage. Which it could be as a soul. That could be your entire game plan. Just a back door. Wouldn't be a bad plan, honestly. It'd be annoying, but you know, as is the game. Hello? Um, ouch. Hey, he has no mana. Can't really push. That imp armor is doing work. Okay, though. What happens if I buy an emperor's armor myself? What happens if two emperor's armor cancel each other out? It actually favors the one attacking. Oh no, it favors the one defending. That's shitty. So I shouldn't go Emperor's Armor then. 
Because I'm always going to be the one attacking right now. You can have your speed. I don't care. I'll clear the wave. Oh, you're here. That's weird. Also, I was not expecting to see you here. Okay, that hit me. We got a lot of gold here. I smell smoke, but the fire is waning. I'm gonna go beat sick. To the task I think I will be going thorns, by the way. I think it's just pretty good. Do I want pestilence too? I probably do. I need some cooldown also. <laughs> a lot in this build I need. Alright, at least we get tower here. I have enhanced red, so. Did you take my blue? I think my next item should be a pestilence. It, it seems like best option at the moment. This is damage is starting to scare me a little bit. Yeah, hitting that back door stride with his emperor's armor. Never mind, not a back door because I didn't know that I didn't get him in the way. Ah, uh, he should be dead here. Phoenix hit me six times just now. Oh my god. That Emperor's armor is doing hella work for you. Can I get this Phoenix without being murdered? Oh, yes, I can. I'm just gonna run all the way away. You can have my tower, I don't care. I assume he's still chasing me. He's not. Oh, he's just going to get the tower. Fine. I expected that. Your middle tower has been destroyed. I expected that. Do you know something I did not? But I will also, even though you took my tower, I will also take the trade of a kill and a phoenix over a tower any day of the week. And I'm sure any smite player would do the same. It's going to be hard to kill him. I Well, I don't know. Maybe it won't be that hard. I do have 227 power. I feel like I shouldn't have that much power in my build. But I have Transcendence and Beat Stick. And Runic Shield does give power. Tainted Steel does give a little bit of power. I have Red Buff, you know. I guess it makes sense. The only full defensive item I have is Pestilence. Everything else is kind of a hybrid. Um, I am down to blink in and fight. Does Emperor's armor work on Titan? Or does Titan doesn't count as a structure, does he? Yeah, that only works on quote unquote structures. Oh, I got his alt. And I got his beads. So what's stopping me from killing him now? Kill it 
Nice. Very nice. Why are my minions running? And that should be game. I got some fire minions to tank a couple autos for me. And game. GG. GG. I felt like playing Guan Yu and we were able to pull it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, guys, peace. I love you.